good sparkle Monday morning. I can't, my glasses are a little dirty. Um, I just finished doing my makeup. Wanted to stop in, say hello, and talk with you for a little bit. Um, I know one of my videos, and I've noticed it on some of them, there's a popping and, popping and crackling noise that happens. If you have any clues as to help me resolving, and if you know how to help me fix that, please do. <laughs> Apparently the words that I had in mind just skip track. Uh, started the day off, of course, with my posh complexion perfection that I can't figure out how to function this morning. Um, if you haven't tried this, you should. And if you would like to try it, get in touch with me. I'll send you a sample. As I've said since I started doing posh, I would rather find something that you're going to like and enjoy than have you buy something and not like it and be turned off towards the whole product line. So I have no problem giving you a sample. And if you like it, great. If you don't like it, okay. It, you know, that's just, that's life. It, I'm still not, I'm not going to be mad at you if you don't like it. We're still going to be friends. It's all good. But anyway, Moisture 911 is the moisturizing cream that I use this morning. And I will tell you, it's helping wake up my tired self, my tired face. Uh, we'll move on just a little bit quick because I got some things I want to cover. And I don't want this to be a really long video. And I'm hoping there's no popping, popping and crackling. And I'm going to put it on Facebook first before I upload it to YouTube and see if maybe that was part of the problem. Now, I have a little bit more of a dewy look than I normally do. I used the Mineral Touch Cream Foundation in Taffeta. Um, my thoughts, I didn't use that. I just used my, my regular Real Techniques brush. I have the foundation brush from Unique, and I love it. I didn't bring it in here with me, but I will just tell you. You need that brush in your life if you wear makeup. It's amazing. Um, but just trying that, I, I just use my trusty, you know, sometimes it, there's no place, there's no purpose for the well with this. So I just stuck with my old one. It does for, very, very well as far as coverage goes. The only thing, you know, I'm not a real dewy person. And my skin, even though my skin is more mucher, uh, which equals... And to prune, I'm just, they just tell us mature to be nice to us. We are old ladies. That's just what it is. Um, but I also used the regular um, Mineral Touch liquid foundation. And I, to, you know, I used Cypress to do my contour. I used Organza because I just got it the other day to do my highlighting with. I didn't do a whole lot to my face because... I may go back to bed sometime at some point in time today. <laughs> That's a good possibility. I'm old, people. Um, not so much old as just broken, I guess is the word for it. Went into the Moodstruck Addiction Palette number three. Used. My finger was in the wrong place. These three colors. Lid. Crease in the V, and I may have lied to you. I'm sorry, I did. I used flippant, cheeky, just in, you know, just softly, soft touch, easy touch, just one over the lid, one in the crease. Um, I think I may have used a little bit of smitten or determined one, just you know, like in up towards the corner of my eye. Used a rate with a flat brush as eyeliner. Yes, we did. Didn't use it on the top because I'm too tired to fool with it today. <laughs> and like I said, at some point in time, I'm probably going to go back to bed. Um, anyway, wanted to talk with you about all of that. And if you're interested in, you know, there are some things from the Unique line that I can sample to you, too. Um, and I'm more than happy to do that. Unique has a 14-day love it or return it guarantee. So as far as getting a sample... I mean, I will. Don't get me wrong. More than happy to. But you can get it off of the website and have it. And enjoy it for 14 days. Not after you order it. Order it 
after your package arrives in your hot little hands, that's when the 14 days starts counting, the day you get it. Um, yesterday, we did our first ever, ever um, bike run. And I have to tell you, I was a nervous wreck. We have never done anything like this before. I have never done anything like this before. And I have some anxiety issues when I'm around a whole lot of people and they're breathing my air. Um, I have to tell you, this was the 2016 Heroin Awareness Ride. Um, it was in honor of a young lady that lost her life to heroin. And... There were, I can't remember how many bikes there were. Seemed like there were a million to me because, you know, it's <laughs> anything over five people is a lot of people for me. Um, just saying, just saying. But there were wall-to-wall -wall people. And a lot of people that we, you know, some of the people that we uh, talked to, it was their first run too. And it was the organizer's first time organizing a run. And I think he did a spectac spectacular job. I really do. Um, it amazed me and humbled me that so many people came out to support this family and support this cause. Um, it, it just... $750, I believe, is what she posted on the page this morning was what we raised to go towards heroin awareness. And um, it's a cause that is so worth it. Folks, we're losing lives. And if you think it's just affecting certain people, certain races, certain anything, think again. It's taking the lives of our loved ones right, left, and sideways. Heroin is not the only thing that's doing it. Meth is doing it. There are other addictions that are taking the lives of people. And the biggest thing is that they think that nobody cares about them. I hope that they can see the pictures of the event yesterday because all of those people came out because they care. That's the biggest reason, you know, we cared about the, we care about the family with the lost loved one. And we care about stepping up and making people aware that this does not have to happen. This does not have to be you. You are more than what you're doing. If you are using heroin, please get help because you have a family that loves you. If you think your family doesn't, and I know there are some circumstances and situations where things are awkward, there's somebody, a whole lot of people that knew each other and several strangers gathered yesterday. Just to say, there's somebody that cares about you. And yes, I know there's going to be some movement and stuff in the background. I apologize for that until I run it through the edit on YouTube. That it's just how it is because I move. I'm sorry. I move around when I talk. It's just how it is. Um, but anyway, I wanted to just drive that home to people. I wanted to physically tell you, if you're watching this video or if you're seeing this video and your life is in shambles because of addiction, you don't have to be there. There are far too many people that care. And there are far too many resources to help you. You don't have to be there. Reach out to somebody and keep reaching and keep trying. And let us wrap our arms around you and love you and help you get well. And let us keep doing it with you until you are successful. Because... It is so important. Lives, just lives, people need you. You were put here for a purpose. Your life serves a purpose, and it's greater and it's better than what you're sticking in your arm 
or what you're snorting up your nose. You're better than that. You're more than that. Okay? Please understand that if nobody else loves you, I do. I care about you. And I have a bunch of people. I saw them yesterday. A whole lot of people gathered to say, hey, we love you. We care about you. We don't want to see you do this. We want to see your life get better. And I'm thankful to have been a part of it. I'm honored and humbled to be a part of it. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of editing to this video, but that's okay. We'll move right along. I kind of lost my place on what I was talking about. The point of today's sparkle is something that I talk about quite a bit. It's part of the reason why I started doing Sparkle. Folks, you're better than your situation. It does not define you. You are more than your situation. Um, you don't have to be where you are. You don't have to live another day. Not one more day in the pain that you're in. Uh, there are resources. There are people that will help you. There are people that care about you. There are people that want to see you live. There are people that want to see you be all that you can be in this life. You were born with purpose. You weren't born on accident, no matter how you got here. You were born, your life has meaning and it has a purpose. And I am thankful and grateful to have been able to be a part of something bigger than me. And we need to keep driving this message home until there is no more addiction, until there are no more hurting people, until there are no more family members laying awake at night wondering where their loved one is or wondering if they're going to see them again. You're more than that, people. I don't even know you, but I'm telling you, you're more than that. If you hear the noise in the background, that would be the dogs walking through the hallway because for whatever reason, when I start making videos, that's what they love to do. Don't know why. Can't leave them outside because it's too hot. Remember that. It's too hot. If it's too hot for you, it's too hot, hot for your pets. Provide them water and shelter. Let them cool off. Came across a verse that really just kept... Well, didn't come across it. I've known it all my life. It really describes my feelings towards what we did yesterday. And it's John 13, 34, 35. And it says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I has, have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one for another. Folks, it's time. It's past time that we wake up and that we take time to care about and to love. And if you're sitting in a jail cell thinking that your family doesn't love you because maybe they're not doing the things that you want them to do to make your jail stay a little more comfortable, let me just clear something up for you. What your family's waiting on is for you to hit the point of change, of real change. Because we know, as the family members, we remember who you were before you became an addict. And I'm not just speaking personally, I'm speaking on behalf of families who have a member of their family that is dealing with an addiction. We know who you were. 
We know who you can be. We know how you were raised. Most of all, we love you. And just because we've chosen to love you from a distance doesn't change the fact that we love you. What it changes is the fact that we are determined to do whatever it takes to bring you back home. And if it means stepping out of your life for a while, not completely because you're always in our hearts, but if it means that we just have to say, you know, if you're going to continue to do this, I have to do this. We would much rather see you well. And the reason why is because we know that it's possible. We know that it's a struggle. And we know that it's not an easy struggle. But we know that it is possible. Absolutely 100% possible. And we know that you might, along the journey of being sober, that you might fall. You're not going to stop loving me. So, if you're stuck in addiction today, please, 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 reach out and get help. If you're sitting in a jail cell, think about why you got there. Don't try to manipulate people. Don't try to turn pit people against each other. Today's your day for change. I cannot express to you how much you are loved and how much purpose you have in your life. And I cannot and will not just sit by and say, go do what you want to do, it doesn't matter. Because it does. We have adapted the it's my life and I can do whatever I want to mentality. No. Everything that we do in this life has a consequence. It's either good or bad. We either do things that bring positive into other people's lives or we do things that bring negative into other people's lives. We have a choice. And I'm thankful to use the means that I have. And sometimes it's, it's not the best quality of videos that you'll find. There's not a whole lot of editing in my videos. Sometimes I say the wrong word, meaning something else. Sometimes I can't even get words to come out. But one thing holds true. Through everything that I say and do. I care about people. I care about your life. I care about your happiness. I care about making your life better. Because I know, as someone who lives with chronic pain, how bad and how easy it is to become depressed or anxious or down in the illness to where you're isolated from your family and friends and you know there are people that don't understand chronic pain or the problems that I have because I don't look like somebody that's sick um, we fight pretty hard every day so using the means that I can I'm thankful to be able to take part and make this video to tell you that if you are addicted, if there is something in your life that you need help with, please use the resources available to you in your area. If you need somebody to talk to, contact me. I won't have all the answers 
but I will care about you. And I will pray for you. And even as I don't know you, you're in my prayers. So, that ends today's sparkle. Remember, I am the mayor's daughter. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.